Hi, guys. Hey, listen, I'm having a busy day. I've got my boil going. This is my third boil. So that's on the stove. And I've got the timer sent for about, well, I guess now it's probably another half an hour. So you might hear my Alexa going off <clears throat> if I don't get this uh, cracking very quickly. Uh, you may remember if you've watched my recent um, Goodwill Heist haul video, I got this little plastic item, which one gal said she thought it was um, something to hold recipe cards in. I thought it kind of looked like a planetarium to like maybe a little greenhouse. This slides back. And when I picked it up, I thought perhaps this would clean off. I don't know if you can see that with my light reflecting in it. It's all yucky. It looks like it would be sticky. It almost looked like it had something on it and it kind of melted and, and left a mark. I can't get that off. So I'm sitting here the other day. I was really disappointed in that thinking, oh, this would look cute to, to the left of me here. I don't know what I really want to store in it, but I could I could put e ephemera cards in it, you know, and try to keep myself a little organized. And I just think it's really cute. I mean, I don't see any marking on it to tell me what it is. But I mean, it's it's a plastic, yucky looking stuff's all over. The bottom, I'm not so much concerned with because it, it'll be sitting down. I won't see that. But this plastic part on the top would be driving me crazy. So it comes apart. So I got out a pretty little napkin that I don't know if I ordered or if somebody sent it to me and I'm going to decoupage the top to make it look cute for my crowded workspace. So what I did first was see this just comes apart here it's just got a little peg and the other part has a little hole and it just gently pops out becomes two pieces so what I did was make myself a little template now I say it's easy to come out but of course now it's getting much there we go so I made myself a little template for this corner piece. I think I only have one of this napkin, which will do both sides for me, but it won't do the ends. And I thought, well, rather than have them not covered with anything, I'm just gonna use some plain tissue. So I took the other side, which is flat. Of course, I held the wrong one to show you. And I just held that on a piece of paper and made myself a little template like that and cut that out. And then I put that on the second sheet that I pulled off of my, got a lot of static electricity going here, of my napkin. Pulled the back off of my napkin, the two backs off of my napkin, and I made my little template, and then I cut out my little pieces. So I have four pieces of just plain napkin backing. And then I believe, my napkin. I don't need this bottom part. Cut in half. We'll do both sides of that little plastic dome part. I'm going to use my golden matte medium rather than Mod Podge because I've said on several occasions that Mod Podge does not dry completely for me and I don't want this to be sticky or tacky. So just cutting that in half. So I've got those two pieces ready. And I may have to get up at some point and tell Alexa to turn off because she's got my timer going. Okay, so I might move my camera up just a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on my golden matte medium onto my corner piece here. And then the idea is, is I will lay my plain napkin there. I'll do all four ends and then I'll come in with my decorated portion of the napkin, the design portion, and I'm going to decoupage that. 
that on there. Now it looks like I'm just a little bit short. So I'm going to I'm going to decoupage it to the back. There's a little ridge here, and so I might put a little bit of lace or something there. A little bit of seam binding, sorry, piece of paper rather than have it open in the back and that can be a design element and then once this dries i'm just going to take an emery board and i'll just sand off my edges at least that's the plan we'll see how it goes now i'm going to use a tip that i learned a few years ago watching a gal who does a lot of decoupaging and i don't remember her name i think it's patty's patio i'll find her and i'll put her information in the description box but she uses a piece of plastic wrap to help her get a nice smooth surface so that's the plan so I'm going to take my I've got my Mod Podge here in my empty soap dispenser bottle I've got an old brush that I use for glue and Mod Podge I'm going to take a piece of my plastic wrap. This is just cheap dollar store stuff. And I'm just going to take off a little piece right now. Because I just need it for my ends. And I'm going to cut that in half. Now, it, you can reuse it. But I thought if I do two ends... Hmm, those scissors usually work pretty good. I thought if I'm going to do two ends, I might just want to switch it out and have a clean piece when I do the one part of the box and the other part of the box. Of course, same old story. Plastic wrap doesn't stick to what you want it to, just sticks to what it wants to. All right, a little sip of soda. wet my whistle and here we go now I <clears throat> don't generally put this Mod Podge out on any kind of a surface I usually just squirt it on whatever I'm working on and I haven't used it in a little bit, so I'm going to clean out my little nozzle here. I could put it on my glasswork surface, but you know what? I always end up putting my elbow or my arm in it. So I'm just going to put this where I want it on my plastic little lid. and see how we make out. So I'm just going to skirt some on. I want to be fairly generous. And I'm just spreading that around right up to the ledge. Of course, it looks like I've got one of my hairs in there. Not that that matters, but... Oh, goodness me. See them? That just drives me crazy. It's always the gray ones, girls. It's always the gray ones. All right, so I've got a generous amount of Mod Podge. No, excuse me. Golden matte medium. Not Mod Podge. And then I'm going to carefully sit down my of course I should have gotten some kind of a weight to hold this I don't know if this will ah, one of my rocks that, that'll work and I'm going to take my little pre-cut template piece of plain napkin and I'm going to try to just lay it gently where I want it it doesn't have to be perfect for me. I can slide it a little bit. And then I'm going to take that piece of plastic wrap that I pre-cut. And I'm just going to pop that down on top. 
see, and then I can use my fingers. My camera might be a little too close. And smooth that out. As soon as I get a free hand, I'll see if I can move my camera up a little bit. Now you could leave it dry this way and leave the plastic wrap on it, but I'm going to take it off because I'm always in a hurry and I want to get the whole thing done. Now I've got a little bit of uh, overhang. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to brush that down. Because the napkin is porous, I think that extra mod I will say Mod Podge, Golden Matte Medium is going to soak right through that napkin. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm not so much worried about it being super wrinkly or super flat. But it is a good tip with the um, plastic wrap. If you have any decoupaging projects you'd like to do and you're a little nervous about getting it on, I mean, it you know, nice and smooth. The gal that did this, I'm pretty sure it's something about patio, Patty's patio or something. And um, she was doing baskets and buckets and all kinds of stuff. When I, I mean, this has been years. Um, clay pots, you know, the whole thing. Now I'm going to brush it this time down over my edge a little bit. And I have way too much product. I mean, you want to be generous, but I don't think you have to be this generous. <laughs> I'm a loon, okay? And I don't want to sit it down the way I did the first time because, of course, I've got a wet end now. So this will be a little more, a little, little more fiddly, a little tricky. I'm just going to pop it down. As easy as I can. Give me a little slide. Get my plastic wrap. And the only tip is, is that you want to try to use the same sticky side of the plastic wrap just so that your fingers don't get all messy. And I'm just going to come in. And that allows you to work with that tissue paper, napkin, whatever. You can even be a little rough with it. In fact, I did, I have to do a video of this. I did it years ago. And they weren't really very popular in my uh, craft co-op. But um, wrap napkins around wooden bangle bracelets. Beautiful. And then what you did was you just stretch this. See, if I pull this plastic wrap, you kind of can stretch it and it straightens it out. You could stretch that right around your plastic or your wooden bangle form. And I'm just going to add where it looks a little dry. I'm just going to add a little more. Now I'm going to set that aside. That should probably not take too long to dry. I have my ceiling fan going. I'm trying to find a spot to let it hang out. That's the other issue. Now this side will be a little more difficult because I have those little pegs that are sticking out that fit into the uh, base unit and to the other top to make the whole thing work and stay together. So I can't really lay it down flat. No worries, no worries. So I'm gonna go take the rest of my golden net medium. And I did wash this. It just did not clean up. And I'm painting this on another generous amount. Now, I had some risers made out of plexiglass plastic, if you will, that I use for displaying some of my things when I do craft fairs. 
and they were all beat up and old. So this is what I did with those. I decoupaged some napkins on them, and they turned out cute. Of course, I got a death grip on this thing. I'm going to end up having a cramp in my thumb. So I'm pulling out my other piece of plain napkin back that I pre-cut. I'll pop that down. And take my plastic wrap again, drop that on top. And then just smooth it out. And work it down. My edge up. I did do a tear. I had a little bit of a slide going. So you can't mash it as much as I thought you could. I think that piece of plastic wrap probably has had it. And I'm going to add a little additional where it looks kind of dry. I had plenty on there, but it doesn't seem to be absorbing it. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to flatten this part out here a little bit. Add some extra, extra goo. I could probably scrape that off. I think we're going to leave well enough alone. So now I just have to do my last corner or triangle. I'm, I'm so busy concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm not watching to see if I'm on camera. Now we have our air conditioner on. I have the ceiling fan on. But boy, I got to tell you kids, it is hot here today. Still feel quite warm. All right. Taking my final piece of. Uh, napkin and then my other piece of plastic wrap which of course it folded on itself and I'm just going to drop that down smooth this out. I'm going to be a little more gentle than I was. I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of yapping. This is hard to hold this so I can show you very well. Now this is not perfect and I'm really not taking all the time that, you know, I bet you you could really take another brush if you really wanted to and because it's hard to get in there in that corner let's see what do I have here get down in that little crevice And then I'm just going to peel off my plastic wrap. See, and then I'll, I can come around here. I don't know if you can see. There's like a little ring and a little lip. I can either trim that out with my X-Acto knife. Or once this dries on there, I probably can just peel that part that's not attached up. So now I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to need a bigger piece of plastic wrap. Yeah, I mean, it's not totally dry, but it's dry enough where I can work with the top. So I am going to 
lay the edge of my napkin on that back edge because where the lip is on the front doesn't quite fit. I've got a little extra. I want to put some, a little piece of lace or something decorative there. Now I want to cut a piece of plastic wrap that is going to fit over that entire section, which pretty much is the length of the roll. So I'll just cut a nice size piece. And that should work. So I have that ready. Sailing fan is not cooperating. I'm going to put my napkin off to the side and then I am going to apply my golden matte medium. And just give a generous coat. I'm sure you could use really material. I keep saying material. I'm trying to teach myself to say fabric. But you could use a piece of fabric, piece of lace. If you had something like this you wanted to cover, I'm sure, um, scrapbook paper, pieces of ribbon, wrapping paper, anything really. Now I'm just going to try to, I mean, I don't really know because I haven't done this before, but I'm just going to try to smooth out my golden nut medium as much as I can. Now I did put the glue all the way down to the edge of the rim, which I know my napkin's not going to go down that far, but I didn't want to have to try to sneak some glue under there. All right. So that's covered fairly well. And I'm going to take my napkin and line it up on that edge. Just let it drop down. Hold my breath. Get my plastic wrap. course it's all folded up on itself and I'm just going to drop it down on top and start smoothing it down and when I pulled the down the bottom part I'm just pulling that plastic wrap along with the napkin See, I got a pretty good size wrinkle going right here. So I'm just going to tug that plastic wrap a little bit. And like I said, I'm really not, I could have used this the way it was. I just didn't really like it. And I had this pretty napkin. I thought, well, let me, let me just do this. Now this gal, I'm pretty sure her name was Patty. She often would leave her plastic wrap on the item and let it dry. So I'm going to pull it off. And then when that dries, I can, I'll somehow trim. I like to use an emery board to trim the edge because this will get real stiff. And of course, we'll be adhered to the plastic. And then I'll just sand, you know, where I have this extra overhang. And then I've got my ends covered. So once this dries, I might even check to see. I'm going to put this aside and do the other half. Um, I'll wipe a little bit of that excess glue off of here. That's basically what my Golden Nut Medium and all Mod Podge are glue. And I think it looks sweet. 
And if I have a little piece of lace or heavy crocheted lace or piece of sari ribbon will look cute along the bottom there. I spend so much time in my craft space. Why not have things around me that I enjoy and that are cute? Now this, okay, so this is my front edge. I'm going to put on some product. Oh, overlapping my napkin here. Being a little gentle there, especially where I smushed it and messed it up. So I'm giving this little thing, whatever we call it here, my craft bread box, <laughs> a second life. And I think I've got a piece of flower stem there. It's been a busy morning here. I had a busy couple of days trying to get my YouTube channel really rocking and rolling. I could use a little more up here, maybe. All right. Now I'm going to take my napkin. And I'm gently going to lay it along that little line. Drop it down. Got off a little bit there, kids. Let's just move my golden medium bottle out of the way. Yeah. And my plastic wrap. It's really, I mean, it's not perfect, but it does take a lot of the anxiousness out of decoupaging if this is not a medium that you're used to working in. And then I'm going to pull my plastic wrap taut down the side of my lid and just keep smoothing it out. And I think, like I did earlier, you really could use um, a brush or maybe a, uh, a sponge, maybe even a damp sponge. Just smooth that out. Pull it down a little bit. And then once you have it the way you like it, you just pull off your plastic, right? Now I'm just going to take a quick look in my bin where I have my lace and my ribbon. Although it's, you know what, I probably should let it dry. You know, the other thing I'm just remembering that she did, she would take and ball up her plastic wrap and then she could, ah, look what I did. I just got a sticky part and I pulled it up. Well, I know she pounced hers. It's probably better if you have some glue on it. 
So let me see what I have. See, I have this piece of lacy stuff here. This I have a whole lot of this, and I just I like it, but it's really wide. And I could cut that, but I think it would be difficult to cut and get a good straight line. That's much too wide. Let's see. That'll work. Oh, I absolutely love this one. But I don't know if I would have enough. I can run it out of that. Let's see. Running out of space. I'm sure you don't have that problem. I have no idea where I got this lace. I don't think it's vintage, but it's little it's like little roses. Or little flowers and leaves, and I just love it. Well, maybe I will have enough. Oh, that'll look sweet. Well, at least I can show you what I'm going to... I'm not going to attach it. I'm just going to show you. Because I have to trim out my sides. And I don't want this to be in the way. So when this all dries and I trim off my edges... I am going to glue down, I probably will use my fabric tack glue, a strip of that lace. And I think that will look darling. So that's basically it. See, now I don't have to look at that yucky mess up plastic. I can look at this beautiful napkin. And I think I might store some ephemera. So when I'm looking for little bits and pieces, doing tags or journal pages, building clusters, I can just slide open my little treasure trove here and have room to rummage around and pull out whatever I need.